Okay. Thanks everybody for joining today's Jenkins uh, GSOC office hour. Um, so today is Thursday, May 23rd. Um, we have everybody here so we can get started. So I think first of all, what we want to do is go around the table and um, get updates from our GSOC contributors, um, how things are going with, with each of you, and are you running into any roadblocks? So with that said, um, Philip, we will start with you. Thanks. Um, currently, I am on it uh, to test locally. How can I prevent to make breaking changes of current behavior of the main uh, of the APU? Um, that's currently my road blocker because um, the APU have a custom implementation of GitHub API and Jira implementation. And based on my proposal, I'm trying to replace it with official APIs. And my big problem behind it is um, how can I make tests that makes the uh, stability and same um, outgoing uh, as before? That's okay. currently going on on my side. Okay. Thank Interesting you. problems. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alex, if... anything you want to add? Uh, yeah, Philip brought up uh, an honest and to be fair, understandable concern because we aren't using any official APIs or Maven libraries. The person who created the RPU like 2017, 2018 era, didn't implement anything of that and did many, many custom groovy files and called that an API. So that this, it's gonna be a bit difficult and I see Philip nodding because you can't really test it locally because you have no API to go around with that locally and everything is groovy too. That is super ancient. And yeah, this is definitely a valid concern. I can or could recommend to convert the Groovy classes to Java. So we have just one language in the project. I think that could make it a bit easier for you because the Jira and Artifactory API are Java artifacts, Philip, if I'm not completely mistaken. Yeah, uh, so far I know, yeah. Uh, normal conversion is the best way and after that we can think about it to replace it. Yeah, I think that is what we wrote on, on the GSOC project page as well. That would be the easier and reduce the risk to introduce breaking changes because the conversion from Groovy to Java is a bit more straightforward than a jump from an ancient Groovy version to Java 21 or something like that. Yeah. That sounds good. Worrying, but not blocking. Is that a good summary? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. Oh, okay. You're enjoying yourself. Yeah, great. <laughs> Keeps something to do, right? Keeps you busy. Okay. And anything else, Philip or Alex? No, that... Okay. All right. No, let's not move on. Okay. Thank you. Um, let's move on to Sridhar. Uh, so, yeah. Hello. Yes. Hi. Uh, yeah. Hello, everyone. So right now I'm just working on the blog post side, and uh, I'm not currently uh, getting up with the project right now because my entrance exams are going on and it ends on 28th of May, and on the completion of 28th May, I'll just start up working on the, the ag coding thesis. And also, you should also say one more thing that I I just completed my roadmap, which I'll just update uh, maybe tomorrow. Uh, in, in in the project page, yeah, that's it on my side. I it sounds good. I have a question for you. I know that I always care for the human part of it. It also related all the Indian colleagues. We heard that it's incredibly hot currently in some part of uh, India. Yeah, Is that yeah, yeah. true? And do you cope with that? Yeah, yeah, it's true. Uh, in in my city, it's around 40 degrees Celsius. Oh, oh, oh it's peak okay. time. Yeah, it's, it's somewhere around 40 to 45. Okay, we we have 15 degrees right now in in rain, so I could maybe blow and send you a little bit there. So, okay, so 
our thoughts are with you because working in in uh, super hot conditions is 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 not fun at all. So, Shrida, I'm assuming this isn't normal for this time of the year. No, no, no. It's it's kind of like a peak time, so those are somewhat higher than before year. Oh. Okay. 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 So you're moving along nicely. Um, sh so next one, Shlomo for infrastructure statistics. I run out. Um, so I've been working on this uh landing page and statistics and detail page for the website, and I've been trying to stick to. I can actually share my screen if, if everyone wants yeah. to see like a more interactive. Yeah, that'd be example. awesome. Okay. Okay, one second. Can everyone see that? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So I've been trying to stick to kind of like the Jenkins IO design language, sort of like the color scheme and navigation bar and stuff like that, typography, just to get a good landing page. And the actual statistics and detail page I've been working on is kind of like a dashboard view. So you can see all like the big trends in like large graphs like that. Nice. And you also have monthly analysis that gets filtered by year. And you can download like the respective SVG and CSV files, similar to what the stats page looks like now, but just a more updated, refined, like modern view. And we're still waiting on Hervé to provide like more details on how to actually source all the data because it's not like exactly clear as of now, but right now all this data is just kind of hard coded in, but that's going to be like the next steps of like figuring out how to dynamically update it and just get everything working like automatically so no one has to manually go in and change anything that would be so nice yeah it looks it looks good, good. progress and, mm -hmm. and now your your uh, impediment is that you're waiting on her way to come back from holidays is that correct yeah just okay. yeah i mean we can still progress like the ui and, and just figure out how we want things to look but like for actually for actual like functionality and like getting all the data to be accurate yeah we're just waiting on on her bed for that yeah normally you should come back on monday am i correct there yeah he said he was yeah. just out a few days yeah okay who else is your mentor uh chris and bandit okay well i have a chat with chris later to see that we don't get stuck Okay. Uh, there. Good, good. So there's something to keep in uh, uh, in in focus and see that we don't get stuck there. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. It's looking good. I like it. Yep. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Um, anything you wanted to add, Chris? Or we're good? We're good. Uh, for now, we, we I, actually we're ahead a little bit, so we should be fine. And we may want to add some stretch code to um, to the dashboard too, but um, that will be confirmed later. Okay. Okay. Good. Making good progress. Um, I is Nor on? Yeah, I saw her at least trying to connect. Noor? I know you here. Oh, yeah, I see. Hello. Okay. Do you have your update, Noor? Uh, yeah, well, we are working now on the research and data collecting part. Uh, so what we do lately is um, creating the GitHub repo also for that and sharing some uh, some subset of the, the data set we will be training on uh, on in CSV file format uh, on Drive. So the mentor can just have a look on the data so they can have an idea how, how things going to be uh, or the data going to be used. Um, and this is for the LLM. I'm, I'm continuing in collecting the data. What we are collecting, where we are collecting data is uh, from from Jenkins documents and 
uh, from some external sources like Stack Overflow and some other sources, and also the Jenkins community. So what we what what we we are finishing now is collecting that from external sources and uh, Jenkins documents. Any obstacles or challenges you're in you're encountering? Uh, I'm working now on uh, generating the questions and answers for uh, Jenkins documents. So I'm just trying to figure out how uh, we can do that the best way. Um, and that's it. Um, I think I don't have, um, I don't have um, further obstacles. Okay. Thanks. Good. Interesting. Thanks, Lisa. Yeah. Thank you. Um, any, I think, Chris, this is yours, right? So anything else you want to add with this, Chris? We're on track for this project, and um, I do want to see more on the data collection side, because I go to wing. But I think overall, like, from what I saw, like, uh, Noah shared during the meeting last time we meet last week, uh, it's, it's doing fine, at least. Okay. Hey, good. Good to hear. Okay. Dan Yang? Yeah. Hello. Uh, hi. Oh, can, can you hear me? Yes, we yes. can. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so this week I, uh, I, I have done by the, the read the YAML file and uh, and now I'm trying to update the information by uh, connected with the GitHub API. And uh, uh, so everything is on track, but the RPU weekly meeting not happened yet because the, this week it has been canceled. So um, I'm a little bit worried about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, for um, for me, the the problem is that uh, um, the GitHub permission is basically the, for the organizing the um, uh, organized um, organization, and my my account is personal account. So, so the problem is that if I try to make that uh, possible in my personal account, that means that it's only work for the personal account, not for the organizational account. So. Uh, how I, how do I test about it? So uh, that's probably your mentor is going to suggest uh, that you can create an organization. Yeah. Uh, so you can uh, my test organization. Maybe uh, try to find a better a better name. I mean, but you. I uh, mean, so Mark, if uh -huh, you let me good. intervene real quick. I would recommend to just invite you to the Jenkins AI organization and read the member list. I think that would be the easiest way to iterate over the amount of members. Is it just read or is it update? Yeah, uh, you're a good point. Yeah. Every every member of the organization has just read access to the member list. So it's not okay. diff not different to your account or Alyssa, for example. But that would be yeah. simpler, I guess, instead of, I don't know, creating an organization with 3,000 members, that doesn't sound very feasible. Right. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't I don't know the, the problem uh, enough, and I should refrain in giving advice uh, with that. But <laughs> no, no I, worries. I'm, I'm, I'm doing these kind of things right now uh, for, for another purpose, and uh, sometimes I create a, a small site org if I need to update it. This is the difference. Yeah. No okay. Worries. But I know you, oh, I see. But I yeah, I, I will shoot you an invite with the organization right after the meeting. You should receive an email from GitHub and once accept that you're in and have the same permissions like anyone else in the organization. Okay. So um, I'm a little bit concerned about the meeting, me, the weekly meeting hasn't starting hasn't started for for Don Yang. So Alex, I I, I know you're busy. <laughs> um, I'm just curious. Perhaps um, is there a way that perhaps co mentors can um, help out 
and at least keep the ball rolling for for her um could you reiterate what the actual problem is the meeting yesterday was cancelled because i was out of office mm. but the weekly meeting will take place on wednesday on the time i put in the calendar okay so it's just an accident that it was cancelled yeah okay. that was just a one time it's just a one-time thing next week and the week after that and so on will happen as planned okay all right yeah so i just want to make sure that she's covered um as we're starting out so thank you. Um, any other questions for Don Yang or Alex? Okay, I think we've covered everybody, right? Um, so I have the end of this week as end of the bonding period. So coding begins on May 27th. Um, so I sent out an email and this was for the discussion with us org admins was that um, we get a blog post or posts together um, to learn about what did you guys learn during the bonding period? So what are your top five key takeaways during this period? And so I guess my question would, would be uh, for everyone is, do we wanna do this in one consolidated, consolidated blog post or should we do five individual um, blog posts. Any thoughts? Any care? I, th I think a single blog post with five or three, three to five bullet points for everyone might be a bit shorter to read than five individual posts with three yeah. bullet points. That would be a very brief blog post, let's to say it like that. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking that as well. So, I so I... John Mark or Bruno? Did you I say agree. That? I I support the motion. Got it. <laughs> okay, so um, I will start a Google document for all of our GSOC contributors, and then um, I'll give you all editor access. So if you can just add your content there, that would be awesome. Then we convert it to a blog post, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then so May twenty seventh coding begins. So that means once coding begins, uh, then we have July eighth to July twelve as the midterm evaluations are due from mentors. Um, so then we need to schedule or think about scheduling a midterm presentation. And as I was working on this yesterday, I'm like, oh, so usually our our Jenkins online meetup is 8 a.m. Pacific time. That will be 1 a.m. for Dan Yang. So do we want to keep it at six I, at this time? Sorry, I'm talking about my, my, my personal hours. Do we want to keep it at this time for the Jenkins online meetup? I think so. Go yeah. ahead, Chris. I think so, yeah. I support it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Me so too. Don't have to think too much about it. Okay. Mentors are going to guide guide you. First thing is don't be afraid by this public presentation. Scary for some. It's 15 minutes. And try to convey why you're getting excited. They're, they're going to give you uh, ideas and hints. Uh, how to do that but it's it's not equivalent to a university exam where people will be with shotguns and the first mistake you do and, and so no no it's really friendly and we want to hear what you're doing and, and how things are going yeah Just so and, and they all have samples of what was sent in previous years so um, hopefully that will help and then um, I also wanted to check because July, I'm thinking July 15th as our Jenkins online meetup, because prior to that, it's July 4th, and that's a U.S. holiday. Um, I, I wouldn't mind working on that day if, um, if you guys, if everyone wants to do it on the July 4th. That's also a Thursday. Or should we keep it on July 11th? 
for me, uh, I prefer 11 because I will be off the first week of July as well. Uh. Um, I'm sorry, that I was didn't hard. get it either. I don't yeah. uh, maybe your mic is problematic. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, for me, it's also better the 11 for me because I will be okay. the first. Yeah, yeah, okay. Same who is me. against? Who is against 11 July? Say it now or mm -hmm. keep quiet for the rest of. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we'll just, uh, we'll keep it July 11th for now. And if anybody has issues with it, um, just let me know. Okay, so July 11th, the same hour as this office hour. Right. Okay, I think that's all I have on my agenda. Does anybody want else, has anything else to add? Okay. So I will give back seven minutes of your time to either go to sleep Ooh. or <laughs> continue on your day. Thanks, everybody. Talk to you next week. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.